And the right answer is that a pink flowered morning glory is going to have wild type alleles of the W locus and mutant alleles of the P locus. And there's two ways to get to this answer. The first is just that unless you're given specific information to the contrary, you should generally assume that plants, that any organism that you're considering has wild type alleles. So you should always start with that and only discard that hypothesis, discard that assumption, if there's something about the information you're given that makes you think it doesn't. Now, in this case, the pink phenotype is entirely explained by a mutation in the P allele. So there's no reason to assume that it has also has a defect in the W U allele. The second reason for saying, well, it must have a functional W gene is because the W gene regulates transcription of the whole path. It actually regulates this step, the chalcone synthase step. If this step was non-functional, if the plant had a defective W gene, the whole pathway would be inactive and the dihydrochemferol would never be synthesized. So no pink pigment could be synthesized anyway. Now I want to move on to think about one somewhat more complex situation, and that is the alleles that control the common ABO blood types. Whenever you get a tr blood transfusion or you're a donor at a blood bank, your blood type is always checked for which of these three phenotypes you have. The phenotypes are determined by measuring what kind of antibodies your blood reacts to. And what those antibodies are telling, they're detecting, is the presence of specific sugars on the red blood cells. So people who are homozygous for the A allele have A-type sugars. People who are homozygous for the B-type allele have B-type sugars. People who are homozygous for the O allele have no sugars on their red blood cells. Now, here's the biochemical molecular basis of this. The ABO allele, the A allele, codes for an enzyme that puts a modified sugar on the surface of red blood cells. And that's the modification that we've drawn as these blue dots. And here's the actual name of the enzyme, alpha 13 n acetyl galactosaminyl transferase, it transfers alpha 13 n acetyl galactosamine onto the surface of the red blood cells. That's what the A allele codes for. The B allele is very similar, but it codes for an enzyme that puts a different sugar on. The, allele, the B allele differs from the A allele by seven substitutions in the coding sequence. That's seven changes to the base pairs. And four of these changes change the amino acids. The other three are silent substitutions. Um, they don't change the amino acid. Four of them do. And together, these changes change the specificity of the enzyme so that instead of taking alpha 13 and acetyl galactosamine, it takes alpha 13 galactose. And that's indicated by the pink blobs on the blood cells. So what about the O allele? Well, the O allele doesn't specify any sugar modification at all because it's a defective gene. So the ABO allele differs from the A allele just by deletion of one base pair. Um, that base pair is in what the codon that codes for amino acid 87 of a 354 amino acid protein. So it's about a quarter of a way along the protein. But you know what a one base pair deletion does? It creates a frame shift. So this mutation destroys the coding capacity of all the rest of the protein, and the cell produces a truncated protein that's non-functional. So no sugar modification is put on the ABO blood type alleles. Now, I should also mention 
that there are many other alleles, many other loci affecting blood type, and there are many minor variations of the A, B, and O alleles. These are important in particular medical situations, but we won't be talking about them in the context of this course. So what have we done? We've begun connecting homozygous genotypes and phenotypes. We talked about three examples, blue and white morning glories, which we talked about earlier, um, blue and pink morning glories, which are defective in a different gene. So the blue and white morning glories, the white ones are due to mutation of the W allele from W plus W plus in the wild type flowers to W minus W minus in the white flowers. The pink morning glories result from mutations in a different allele where blue morning glories have the P plus P plus alleles, pink morning glories have the P minus P minus alleles. Blood types, we have three different alleles, A, B, O, A, A, B, O, B, and A, B, O, O. And then when homozygous, they're responsible for the A, B, and O alleles. Now, in the second lecture from now, we'll talk about the heterozygous phenotypes. What happens when a single individual has two different alleles? But before we do that, we're going to consider a more complex homozygous situation, and that's phenotypes resulting from mutations in the gene responsible for the very common genetic disease, cystic fibrosis. I hope to see you there.